Good morning, YouTubers and Minecrafters. Elf Hugger back here again with a update on my um, auto crafting, sorting, bogger, hummus production thingy. <laughs> Power line, I guess. Um, let's go get started. Uh, as you can see, I've made some changes to my house here. Okay, I'm going to sleep real quick and. No, oh, I forget to do that every time I start a video. Um, so yeah, let's go, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through uh, my system. It's a manager integer, uh, sorry, manager integer chest system. Um, and here it is. I understand my basement is very compact and very cluttered, and some people might not like that, and either do I, to tell the truth. This is still pretty temporary. Um, of course, I'll be moving everything around and making it a little more accessible and hidden. I'll probably move all of the engines under underground more um, but yeah this is more like here's a space that I have I'm gonna build my house on it I'm gonna try and fit everything I can underneath it <laughs> um, actually I'll show you the upstairs real quick here um, so yeah I have actually have pretty good space up here which is nice and clean and you know not not finished yet either and also still temporary and subject to change like obviously the blast furnace is gonna stay right there <laughs> I just need a space to get some steel real quick um, so uh, this is the system right here. Um, I have a. This is my input chest. This takes everything from the farm. So that's going to be the sand, the dirt, uh, the ash you saw there, um, the wood, the saplings, and the apples. Um, and this is the manager that says I'll take whatever you you give me um, if you don't want it. So it has all the extra dirt and sand. And this is the crafty manager. It has a stack of each of the major things, four buckets, and fertilizer. And that's and these obviously are the auto crafting tables for such for those such things. Um, and then this right here is a manager that says I want all the bog earth and the hummus you can you you want you can give me. Um, why is that there? That should not be there. I'll check that link over. Um, so yeah, that is the output chest to the actual farms. So input chest, output chest. Uh, this one holds. Uh, this one goes over here to the sorting machine that handles the saplings that go here that feed my fermenter. Holy crap, that's full. Okay, so you do not have space for liquid. Why? Okay, I'll leave you like that. Hmm. Need more power, which is the problem I'm having here, which is why I built this iron tank that holds the biofuel, and then a liquid power, uh, liquid box, uh, uh, firebox, uh, steam boiler, high pressure, uh, 27 high pressure uh, things is actually built in the ground. I love these liquid duct pipes. Ah, oh, they're amazing. I have one liquid duct pipe off of this high pressure steam boiler feeding four industrial and two commercial steam engines and as you can see none of them are having any issues at all keeping steam inside it's 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 great i mean this would take so many gold pipes it's not even funny but i could do it with one liquid duct pipe so i really i do like that and i do think it's interesting that you have to control it with a redstone signal to actually pump out but i can see why you want that for con for control purposes um so, so yeah, I need to get some more. <laughs> uh, anywho, back to the system here. So, so yeah, this is where the wood goes. Uh, I haven't had a place for the apples yet. I need to set up a space for a squeezer. I'm just trying to get everything. I kind of jumped ahead too ahead of myself, to tell the truth, which is why I'm scrambling to get everything working. Uh, I originally had an energy cell right here that these engines were powering, and it just wasn't wasn't keeping up for whatever reason. As soon as I took the energy cell out, things you know picked up a little bit, but um, I'm not really, we're not really impressed with these blue electricity engines. It seems like no matter how much power, it just seems like they don't put out enough power to make them worth it. Um, you, you would, I have, I have four wind turbines on top of my house and then quite a few solar panels, and it just could not keep the back boxes f with enough power, I guess, to make them worth it. I mean, when you when the back boxes are full and you fire those things up, I mean, they just spit out the mine, the uh, the Minecraft jewels. It's, it's ridiculous, but it just seems like whatever whatever I do, 
I can't keep those bat boxes full unless nothing is using energy in the, in the system and it takes these engines like three I would say that uh, either between two to four two to four days to fill up a energy cell I understand the energy cell has like 600 minecraft jewels stored but when anything turns on these engines cannot keep a positive energy flow into the energy cell by themselves now definitely can't with all the stuff running so I need to re reevaluate my energy production here but um, so anywho let's go ahead and head over to the farms why is there a random dirt block there um, the farms the input chest comes in right here like I said I don't know why there's that bog right there it should oh because there's not eight mm. Mm. I don't know why that is having issues Oops. So, um, here's a chest for the bog earth, and obviously the one that goes up to the top there for the uh, hummus for the tree farm. Um, and what I'm going to do eventually is once this actually runs out, like I said, I had a little bit of a snafu. This is actually like version, I would say three <laughs> of this, uh, maybe even four of this of this uh, manager system. As I've discovered, there's tweaks and things I need to make. Um, so uh, what I will do is once this actually is empty, uh, every time this pulses to fill, uh, to, to draw out uh, bog earth, I will have this send a signal to uh, the auto crafters, which is already set up, um, and it will craft additional bog earth for the chest, and then this will automatically take anything out of the inner chest and put it into here so that in theory there should be a kind of a consistent amount of bog earth in there at all times. I might have to tweak that as well cuz I don't want to I don't want to have this this like this full of bog earth. I'd rather have it, you know, minimal so that my resources stay kind of kind of high. Um, here is my auto uh, system for the peat. It seems to be kind of working. I wish I had logistic pipes cuz it would make it so much easier and so much easier to control to keep where the actual peat goes into because right now I just have it set up that if I need you know if I have fuel I need fuel um, you know put it give me, give me rip pipe signal and comes down here to the tartar gate and okay I'll, I'll go ahead and energy pulse and pull some peat out but like I have to have it set so one goes up and one goes there and this one has one where it goes uh, I can't click on it one goes this way, the one goes down, and the same thing up here. So it's not the most, you know, accurate or consistent system, but we'll have to see if it, if it works well enough or not. Um, so I think that pretty much is this. Uh, oh, wait, no, actually, I have something even more exciting. I wanted to, it's not really exciting, but I just wanted to do it just because I've never used it before. So this is accelerator, and then you see the, uh, I think they're called mag lev pipes. Is that what they're called? Mag tube, that's what it is, okay. Um, mag tubes, and those go all the way over to my barrel system over here. As you can see, comes up through the ground to the middle of the column there, and comes over to here to this manager, which in theory, if it was working right, oh yep, okay, so there's some resources there. So if there ever is a case where I don't have enough sand being produced, which was the case at first, when I first started uh, the system, if I ever have a um, a lack of sand or dirt, I have this set up so that um, it will it will pull out of. And man, these magnet pipes are fast. Mag tubes are they just ridiculous fast. But it sends a signal to a retriever right here, and it does work the way I have it set up right now. This retriever will pull out dirt and sand, uh, which I'll show you. Dirt, dirt. Uh, why is it not pulling out sand? Hmm. Sand, dirt. Ah, there we go. Okay, I had the wrong set. Okay. So, in theory, 
Yeah, I just sent a whole bunch of stuff over there. Oh well. But as you can see, um, it actually I have I did try it, and if I go there and take all that dirt and sand out of the system here, out of this, if I take all the dirt and sand out of here, and I take all the dirt and sand out of here, it will pull from that over that that measure over there, and um, and send send it over. I think I have that manager set up wrong, which is why it did that. It should probably be like that. That way it will have as much as I want. I want more, because it needs to have dirt and sand in there already, or else, um, there we go. Um, or else when it pulses the send, because I have it set up right now, as you can see here, this red, stone, this red uh, ejected wire goes up to there every time the uh, manager pulses to send something down there, it pulses to put stuff back in the chest, so obviously that won't work unless there's nothing in there. So I must have been screwing around with that, didn't change it back. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is the new system. Um, like I said, I'm liking it. Um, I almost almost jumped head in head first into a Sortron, but I'm like, eh, my um, I didn't. Uh, the one thing I didn't like the Sortron is that you have to have it attached to a chest like a manager. So that means that you would need multiple um, Sortrons in order to do a system like this. I thought managers would actually be easier for this type of system. Um, I will most likely be doing a Sortron for up here to actually keep my supplies, um, all my supplies set up. I have, I have a chest that's like, alright. This chest is going to have all. I'll like have a diamond chest up here, and it'll keep a stack of this, a stack of redstone, or two stacks of redstone, six stacks of cobblestone, you know, iron ingots, all that kind of stuff. After I set up my auto crafting system, uh, my auto, um, uh, my auto furnace and smelting and, and, and dust production, all that kind of stuff, uh, I probably will do. I probably will do that. But uh, plus, then I need a refresher on my fourth. I haven't done any fourth uh, programming for a long time since my uh, my crazy. Nyan cat build that you can see in one of my videos um, and uh, and my uh, what was it oh yeah my auto opening and closing doors so I'll probably definitely refresh before I do that so all right I think that's a good stopping point for this one um, like I said if you have any questions or comments let me know um, if if you guys are interested I could show you how I did it because it did take me it did take me, I'm not going to lie, it took me a little bit of time to figure out the managers and how to get them to work and the priority systems and I had to do a lot of testing in my uh, my single player world just to see, get a feel for how they use but work. But now I, I think I got a pretty good idea and um, I know what the buttons do and all that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, and if, you, if you'd like, I can always do a tutorial video for it. Uh, Alright, so uh, I think that's it. Like I said, uh, have a good day and uh, happy building.